So when we talk about cannabis products, it's important to understand that the body absorbs, digests and manages these products in different ways. And so depending on the way that you're administering them to the body, a different proportion of those cannabinoids will be utilized or accessible to the body and not all administration routes are equal. For example, if we are consuming products orally, typically only 6 to 12 percent of that is available to the body only six percent six to twelve percent of that is actually absorbed into the bloodstream as well and so quite a large portion of that is not actually being absorbed it's just running through the body and being excreted on the other side as well if we're talking about vaporization versus smoking smoking there can be higher levels of cannabinoids in the body but typically the combustion of THC or cannabis actually destroys a lot of the therapeutic compounds in the process of that combustion the temperatures are incredibly high and so a lot of that is actually destroyed or damaged in the process as well as that you're also consuming all of the carbon monoxide which is of course cancerous and carcinogenic as well 